So Pro Football Focus also ranked best and worst contracts of every NFL team. <laughs> best contract? John Johnson III, the free agent signing <laughs> by um, Andrew Barry. Worst, Austin Hooper. Well, I'm glad it's not my money. Let me put it that way. So, you know, however these contracts were doled out, I'm not going to take any blame for, um, you know, too many years and, and too much money. So, um, listen, Hooper's a guy who, you know, last year when he came in, expectations were really high. And, um, you know, he had, a, he had kind of a tough year in my mind. He wasn't really the playmaker that we thought he was going to be. I will say this, though, that catch that he made in the Kansas City game would be legendary in Cleveland had they pulled that game out. So, um, you know, we we saw some chemistry with him and Baker developing as the season went on. It seemed to be a guy that Baker liked to go to, and I think you're going to see more of that. They did work together again this past offseason. So, you know, sometimes sometimes those free agent signings, Dave, you know, you look at it at face value and you say, okay, X amount of years, X amount of dollars. And then as time goes on, it starts to look a little bit worse. So you have to hope in Austin Cooper's case, in Austin Hooper's case, that it goes the other way around, that you start to really, you know, believe in this guy and, and it starts to pay off as time goes on. And the thing I would say in defense of Austin Hooper is, again, you didn't have the, the training camps, you didn't have mini camps, you didn't have preseason games. So there was no real opportunity for him and uh, Baker Mayfield to develop that chemistry. And with the tight end especially, Tom, you, you got, you almost have to be, reading each other's minds you know that there's a second level of understanding and feel that a tight end and a quarterback need to develop well said and i think i think that's where you're going to see a jump as well this year too dave is just guys being on the field together i mean when you think about last year and all that these guys had to deal with in terms of the pandemic i mean it's one thing for us media guys to complain about doing zoom zoom calls during the week and that's tough because we do like to build relationships and, and get to know players. But even these teammates, I mean, for the most part, most of what these guys did was in Zoom meetings. And so, you know, to your point, I think the chemistry is only going to develop between those two. I think Baker showed in college and early in his career that he likes to use the tight ends. We all know how much Kevin Stefanski likes tight ends. So I think you're just going to see Austin Hooper's role continue to grow with the Browns. 